Hey, what is going on guys? In this video, I'm going to teach you how to root the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. Now, there are um, a few different versions of the Note 4 currently available on the market. The particular version I have is the SMN910U. Now, uh, the different versions that this currently works for, um, there's a list in this website. Um, so, as you can see, there's a whole bunch of them currently um, supported. So let me let me get the boring details out of the way first before we continue. So first off, by attempting to follow instructions in this video, if something goes wrong, you could permanently damage your device. If that's the case, I take no responsibility, so you'll follow instructions in this video at your own risk. Furthermore, all credits and thanks goes to a very popular developer named Chainfire. What I suggest you do is go to this website, because you, you'll need to download the files from here anyway. So the link to this website will be in the video description. Go here, log in, hit the thanks button. Better yet, do donate to them for all their hard work. <clears throat> and uh, also, please don't ask me any technical questions because I'm not a developer. If you ask, I most likely won't respond because I'm not a developer. I wouldn't even know how to help you. So remember, uh, ask for help in this forum post. People are pretty good at responding, not just the developer, but even other users. And um, just keep in mind that this method, rooting your Note 4, will void the warranty, okay? Not only that, it will remove the uh, ability to use Samsung Knox. So do keep that in mind. And I believe it hits the triangle uh, counter. <clears throat> okay. So with all those things said, uh, one thing to know is that after reading some posts in this forum, some people said that they can't update uh, or receive updates from Samsung via their phone, like over the air updates. They have to go to uh, Samsung and connect it to their computer. So in order to achieve that, let me just show you guys quickly. Um, they had to plug it into their computer and use a Samsung software from their website. So this will serve two purposes in case you can't update over there. You can d use this, connect to your phone to the computer and just follow instructions. Just search for something called Samsung Keys. It's spelled like this. You can pause the video. And it's usually the first result. Um, I'm not going to put a link in the video description for this because Samsung is consistently, sorry, consistently changing the link for Samsung keys. So, you know, you're just going to have to Google it. It's much better and faster to find it. And you're just going to download, uh, it should be keys three, unless there's a newer version later on. So this is also going to serve another purpose. In case during this method, your, uh, your computer is not recognizing your phone, do download Samsung keys. It includes the drivers as well. Okay, so the Samsung keys might be more useful than you might uh, assume. Okay, so going back, so on this forum post, the first one is just general information telling you about what this routing method is and uh, the developer's notes. The second post basically explains how to do it. These are the original developer's instructions, how to root the device. Now the third post is where you really want to go to. This is where you're going to download the files for your particular device. Now my model is this one, the SMN910U. Uh, so I had to download this version. You'll have to download yours according to what version of the Note 4 you have. So I assume you know how to do this already, but just in case. So to find out which version you have, you go to the System Settings menu, go all the way down, you can tap About Phone, and under Model Number, that's where you find your model number. Okay. Uh, when you do click whatever link you're going to select, you should come up with a page like this. Down over here, click the Download. Um, it's going to be a zip file, so what I did um, was actually unzip it and put it in a folder called root on my desktop. It's just easier for me, it doesn't matter where you put it. And in here, this is what you should have. You should have like a bunch of files here. And the most important thing to have is of course the MD5. If for some reason you have WinRAR or some other program that tries to let you extract this, do not. It must stay as an MD5 file type. Okay, so at this point, uh, what I suggest you do is back up any pictures and videos that you might have, just in case. It's, this method should not erase anything on the phone, but it's always to, better to be safe. Um, so I suggest you do that now. And you're not going to actually plug in the phone to the computer just yet. What you need to do is actually power down the phone itself, and when it's powered down, we'll continue from there. So with the phone currently powered down, what you want to do is go to that uh, folder you have, all those extracted files, and you're going to see when this is Odin, but it's an executable file. So you're going to double click that to start up Odin. Click Run. <clears throat> and from here, what you want to do is click PDA. And you want to navigate to the same MD5 file, which, which should be in the same folder. 
Um, for me, it usually just pops up already. So I'm going to select that, click open. And then automatically, uh, PDA is checkmarked. Okay? Now, what the developer mentions is that you want to make sure repartition is not checkmarked. I don't have the option to uncheck it. I can't click anything here, but for me, it's not checkmarked anyway, so that's a good thing if you have the same issue. Okay? So at this point, the phone is powered down, and what we want to do is get it ready for uh, download mode. So with the phone powered off, what we want to do is press and hold the down volume button, the home button, and the power button all at the same time. Okay? So down volume button, home button, and power button, and continue to hold it. And we should get a special menu like this. Okay? So at this point, what you're going to do is say, hey, it's going to cause some problems. This is kind of like the point of no return, pretty much. Um, so we're going to press up volume button because I do want to accept. Okay, so this is what you get. And what we're going to do now is actually plug it into the computer just using a USB cord. Uh, it's recommended to use the one that comes out of the box, but um, I'm just using another one. It's not a big deal. Okay, so when you do all the steps that I mentioned, um, like you add the MD5 file, and obviously, repartition should not be checkmarked, even though you don't have much of a choice. <clears throat> I actually went ahead and um, tried to connect the uh, Note 4 to the computer with this screen on after I pressed the up volume button. And I had the issue that I was probably expecting, um, well actually was expecting, the driver issue. So <clears throat> what I had done is actually follow my own steps. I mentioned to you guys, I had to download Samsung keys, but it still didn't work. And then I had to use a special uh, installer in which installs Samsung drivers, and then it worked. Um, so the way you can tell if it's going to work or not is when you have this screen after you press the up volume button um, to accept download mode, when it's like this, you have this screen, you connect it to your computer, and um, you're going to get some sort of ID here, okay, when you open up uh, Odin. If you do not see anything here, if it's blank or you have an error, it won't work. That means your computer is not recognizing your Note 4 in download mode. So you must have some sort of number, com three or something like that, something that looks like this basically. So everything's set up to go. At this point what you're just gonna do is hit start and we'll continue from there. Okay, so at this point I get this message saying reset and the device itself is resetting. Uh, I believe in order for this to work it resets the device in a temporary custom recovery, pushes root and then goes back to uh, normal recovery. So when it's uh, done something else, we'll continue on. Okay, so after a while, um, the device started back into just normal mode um, while it's still connected. At this point, you can basically unplug it from your computer. It's uh, safe. And what we want to do is make sure we have root. So I'm actually getting this message. I believe it's something to do with root. Okay, so saying super SU binary has to be updated. Okay, so I had another tiny obstacle, <laughs> which is kind of annoying, but again, it was a tiny obstacle to get by. Um, it was at super SU when I had this option to... Um, fix something. It says, do you want to use custom recovery or normal? I do not have a custom recovery. And if you followed my method and you've done no other modification to your phone, then just select normal. That means you don't have a custom recovery and it works fine. Mm -hmm. Then you get a message saying, do you want to disable Knox because you get all these security warnings? Again, it's up to you what you choose, but I chose to disable Knox. Um, I don't need it. So it said disabling Knox and then just kind of froze there for like five minutes. All I did was just restart the phone, go back into the super SU app, um, like this, and then it said, hey, do you want to disable Knox? I pressed it, and this time I just did it instantly, okay? Now, the final thing to confirm I actually have root working root is just to run a program that requires root access, and there it is asking for root, granted, done. So, rooted, good to go. So, you now have a Samsung Galaxy Note 4 rooted if you were uh, following instructions while rooting your device. So, I hope you guys found this video useful. Be sure to check out other Note 4 videos, a like gaming demo video, I I don't know why you would want to watch them because I assume you already have the Note 4, but whatever. Links are in the video description, like the review, gaming demo, camera sample video, a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, that's pretty much it. So if you guys found this video useful, be sure to check out my Facebook, Google+, Twitter links also in the video description. Hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe, and thanks for watching.